Hello everybody, it's Adam here, Community Manager at Futera United, the world's greatest football club and the world's first Web3 football club. We are, as far as we're aware, the uh, the first football club to enable our NFT holders, our, our guys who have digital Futera United tokens, to make key decisions on our football club and we've been up and running now for about six months and our guys, if you're not aware, have voted on everything from... The colour of the jersey that I'm wearing right now, the badge, the, the players, where the players play, everything. We have given uh, our guys a uh, the ability to to really steer the direction of Futeri United. It's all a lot of fun. And recently, we released Roadmap 2.0, okay, which is the next iteration of our, of our project here at Futeri United. You know, we're always trying to grow. We're always trying to improvise. We're always trying to improve. And Futeri United Roadmap, 2.0 is just that so we released this in in june um and in this video i want to go through some of the elements of this roadmap and take a little bit more of a deep dive into what the certain segments of the roadmap mean what they mean for our community what they mean for you and uh, how we plan to kind of leverage each of them in a way that is going to continue to grow our project okay so first up we have player of the month and the goal of the month votes. So on this one, this was re requested actually by a couple of community members, the likes of Lawrence. I think he was quite prominent in asking for this initiative. So you spoke, Lawrence, and we listened. That's the, the way that we like to work here at Futeri United. Within reason, of course, we can't do everything that everybody wants us to do, but we try and do our best and deliver as much as possible. And um, so th this Player of the Month initiative then, what this will entail, we'll, we'll backdate this to March. So we'll go back and we'll pick out a player from each month since the start of the season. Everybody who watches football will understand the concept of Player of the Month and Goal of the Month, right? You pick a player who performed best within the fixtures within that month and then you allocate an award. The award in our case will be an NFT. So we'll give an NFT of uh, the player... The, the player card, and it, it, this is with regards to Player of the Month specifically now. So they'll get their own NFT as a card, and then a community member who voted for that player will be selected at random, and they'll also get that card. So there'll be two of these NFTs that exist in the world. You'll get one, and the Futeri United Superstar will get the other. So this is a nod, really, to the physical aspect of our business. So we make Futera make beautiful sports cars. We have done for over 30 years. We have licenses with some huge football clubs, the likes of Barcelona, Paris Saint-Germain, Arsenal, Liverpool, Manchester City, Olympic Marseille, Wolves, um, Borussia Mönchengladbach as well is, is, the next, is the next name on the list that we've just added. And this is a nod to that. So we're kind of saying, right, there's only two of these, these digital cards in the world. You've got one and the player has one. And then the beauty of the blockchain and NFTs is that we know exactly who has that, that NFT. So you can validate that. Um, and the end of season awards, I am told, will take a similar format. Goal of the month. So again, we'll go back to March on this one. Same format that I've just mentioned for player of the month. And um, we'll look to get some footballers involved in our socials with this one. So what we will do is we'll ask the likes of Sean Wright Phillips potentially what he thinks, uh, which goal he thinks was the best goal. Or we might ask Nigel De Jong or um, any of the other footballers that come into our or orbit. Uh, Tony Watt, actually, is uh, a Scottish forward, scored an iconic goal for Celtic. He's involved in the, in the project. Uh, he's a, he's what's known as a Futeri United famous fan. He's a very good person to give his thoughts on which goals are the best and which goals deserve um, the accolade. In order to vote... For player of the month and goal of the month, of course, you will need to be a Futeri United NFT holder. Okay, so next one. Excuse me, it's very, very hot here in the UK. It's not like... Our, our, our buildings and our houses and whatever are not built for the heat, so I am sweltering right now. Anyway, next, next thing on the roadmap is... Um, is prize draws for voting. So this is play and earn. So starting in July, we are going to incentivize a little bit more 
those of you who vote. So those of our community members that haven't just taken the time to purchase a Futari United NFT, those of you that engage with the project frequently and, and vote and um, you know and, and are excited by that element of the, the project, what we will do is we'll start to allocate prizes for those of you that vote, okay? Um, so the digital prizes, everyone who's voted has the chance to win an amazing digital prize, including exclusive Futari United NFTs and Sandber Sandbox Metaverse NFTs. So we will come to this in a little bit, in more detail but the sandbox we have built a state or we are building a stadium within the sandbox okay those of you that are into your metaverse type stuff will be aware of the sandbox that is where the futari united digital stadium is being built and uh, and thus we will uh, incorporate metaverse nfts sandbox metaverse nfts into that initiative so uh, that's all part of the giveaway again this is about trying to encourage that engagement with the community okay next one is the test now we're commencing by the time this this video goes out it may actually be after the, the first test has, has taken place it's starting in july um oh, so i've got starting in july here no i haven't I started, i'm reading the wrong the wrong thing there my apologies uh no starting in june so we are going to be pitting ourselves against a, a, a well actually to start with a a, a a Bangkok Premier League Division One team, okay, and and how this works is, the team will take on this test. Um, if we beat a team, you know, the game we've got on Thursday against the Division One side, if we beat that side, then we will play a team in the division above, which then goes into um, the more professional teams. So uh, we will we will continue to to rise until so to the very top of the pyramid, or alternatively. If we lose, we'll drop down a division. And we're going to be streaming these these games live around the world. For now, completely open to everybody. And then we're going to turn this into a bit of YouTube content. So, um, yeah, it's it's very simple, really. If we win, we go up a level. If we lose, we go down a level. It's that simple. And uh, it's going to be really intriguing to see exactly how good we are. We think as a community, um, as, a, as a club internally and and also within the community community externally we think we're, we're a lot better than we are uh, we have got some very very good footballers very competent footballers within our ranks and uh, we think you know we're going to win our league we're confident that we're going to win our league this will get chopped down by opposition teams if we don't i know but i'm going to go out and say it. i think we'll win our league we think we are we we, we should probably be playing at a higher tier it's all very well thinking these things this is the test. Uh, this will tell us how good Futari United really is. Um, so very YouTube-centric and uh, something to look forward to in terms of building out that YouTube channel. NFTs as physical cards. Now this is, again, a nod to the core element of the Futera business. So here at Futera, we have made physical cards, as I said, for quite some time now. They're very beautiful. They look amazing, I must say. I mean, I would say this, wouldn't I, as, as the marketing guy here at Futero, but I think our cards are the best in the business. They, they, there are no other cards like it in terms of the quality, the thickness. Um, don't sleep on physical Futero cards is what I would say. But also, you know, because we have that intellect and that knowledge of creating these beautiful cards within the business, we thought, why not turn our digital cards into physical cards? Why not merge the digital digital with the physical you almost stumble over my words there it's too hot right now i'm struggling to concentrate anyway physical with the digital digital with the physical that's what we're planning to do with this so um as you can see on screen they look fantastic they look amazing so your nft we're going to be able to turn it into a um into a, a one of one trading card like a true collector's item and this is something that we, we put on the original roadmap something that we're, we're very passionate about and um yeah can't wait to get going with that one and you could do what you want with them fundamentally you could you could sell yours um if you if you did transfer your nft to another wallet you could potentially offer up then a physical nft to go alongside it i don't know why you would want to sell your futari united nft but if you did you could you could sell the two as a package maybe um it's up to you whatever you want to do with it but yes i think they're an amazing collector's item and, and i'm sure you're gonna you're gonna love seeing them in 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 person um Futera Prediction League. So this is play to earn gamification again. 
play and earn gamification forgive me and um what we're going to do is again if you're a big football fan you you understand the uh, you know the notion behind this um what we're going to do is we're going to say right community guess the first goal scorer guess the correct scorer i do something similar to this on the discord don't i right now where i let anybody come in and and uh you know and and and, and into the comment uh, the competition section and they we decide what's you know what the what the score is going to be in any given match but this is a kind of a level up from that it'll be in a league table format as well so we'll be able to um you know we'll be able to track who's predicting or who's making the most frequent um correct predictions i i fancy the likes of again of, of blue and 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 red Lawrence, of course, Shin to uh, to 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 be good at this. Really, you know, they know quite a lot about the team. But we're always adding new members to the community, and uh, we're trying to build this. And hopefully, there'll be new guys that come in, get really engaged in, in the project, and be able to make these these uh, these correct predictions. And again, on top of this, we're giving away NFTs, merch, signed memorabilia because we want to do more stuff with the actual lads that play from us. That play for us. I, I know that you know that there are already fan favorites starting to develop the likes of gail tishan john um jew uh, the, uh, john 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 knows I, i've said this before i mean i don't know if he knows i don't know if he watches me but I, i'm a big fan of john um he's a tremendous footballer jews a good footballer as well um i like i like foo i, I like i like the all the, you know the, there's some really we're starting to the point is is filming goal great performance at the weekend um in that nil, nil little draw from him. We, the point is, is we, we are starting to uh, now create these characters within the community and we want to kind of leverage, again, their profiles. And um, yeah, that's 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 going to be cool. So sign memorabilia, NFTs, merch for the correct predictions. Next up, it's zero to pro. So this is an interesting challenge, I think. And what we're doing here is um, we're going to use footage that we've previously captured so when when we came up with the initiative of Futeri United, we we all kind of put together uh, footage. We captured the meetings, some of the meetings that we had. Mark over there made sure that we were documenting things, and we're kind of documenting that that journey. So we're going to do like a monthly roundup show again on YouTube. It's really big, guys. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Do um, seek that out and subscribe there. We really want to build that. We think that's important in terms of creating these narratives around the club. And uh, we're, we're thinking about this a lot, actually, and, and who we can bring in to help us and how we can use that platform better because we feel like Futeri United is perfect for YouTube, but the, that platform is very mature now. Um, I think starting from scratch is tough. So we're trying to think of ways in which we can speed up the process and bring in an audience on there. But you're going to get interviews behind uh, the scenes type footage on there. Again, all really good stuff. Next up, it's the official supporters groups. I've actually got a conversation tomorrow with a guy in Sweden about this, um, which I'm, I'm looking forward to that I met at the conference in Cyprus the other day. Whether or not anything will come from that, I don't know. But the point is, is that we're trying to find supporters groups in different areas of the world to truly make Futeri United global. So these supporters groups will like allocate an, a manager within the group who initiates their votes. Maybe the manager within the supporters club will... will liaise with the supporters club on what decisions they want to make so you know they may be deciding should we should we play gale this weekend i don't know what the the, the question may be and uh, then the supporters group votes almost as a collective but is led by the the one main guy um so we've got that we're, we're we're kind of also thinking about different creators and publications and other aligned projects that we can use to bring into this so it may be that you have Project X Supporters Club as well. Uh, that is something to be excited about. Also publications, content creators, you know, all the friends that we've developed in the Futera universe now, all the famous fans, all these types of people, they may be heads of their own supporters club. And again, you know, it just brings more and more people into the project. Moving on to, to quarter four, 2022 right now, we've got pitch to play. So I love this. This is, uh, this is going to be giving lads who've been released from football clubs another opportunity that's the way i see it and i'm really passionate about it because i speak to so many i, I know personally lads you know I, gail gail's one of them actually who um you know was kind of struck out struck off by a club 
think it was Luton in his case at 16. I think a lot of young men and young women now lose their bearings a little bit at that point. I think especially, you know, if you've planned to play football and it comes a little bit of a shock to you and you kind of then have to go into the world and, and make your own way without without professional football or without the idea of professional football. So what we want to do here at Futero is we want to give these lads an opportunity to um to to, 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 to try out in front of the um in front of the, the community. So if you're a player, you imagine you've been released from um, a side or you know you're not really happy with the trajectory of your career you can buy a Futuri United NFT and that will allow you to then pitch yourselves to the Futuri United coaching staff to the NFT holders and a panel of, of advisors so former pro players like so Scott Lorenzo, um who's a, who's a famous fan again you know potentially Tony Watt Sean Mike Phillips uh, Nigel De Jong, some of these guys, maybe more as we as we bring more people into this this project. And uh, hey, let me tell you, you know the footballers that I speak to on the physical card side when I do signing sessions, lots of them are very intrigued by this idea. They're very excited by this idea. So um, you know there will be more and more of them that get involved as we move forward, and it will be organic and it will be natural and it will be as it is with Sean Wright Phillips because he likes the project. Okay, we we haven't Sean Wright Phillips's interaction with the tweets. He, he he's probably going to end up signing some cards from us. But that's completely organic. You know, we got him involved. Um, we, we had conversations with him. He followed us. I, I, that's that's an example there of a footballer that's kind of intrigued by what we are doing and, and that certainly presents opportunities there. So, um, yeah, winners will go to Thailand and get to try out for the squad. Brilliant. Okay, uh, how how we build the Futera Dome. So the Futera Dome is a two-part... Well, this is a, a mini-series on how we're building the... Uh, the dome in the metaverse, okay, the, the Futera Stadium. So this is a two-part mini-series that walks you through the making of the Futera Dome from concept to building our vision in the metaverse. NFT holders and owners will get the first look at the stadium in the metaverse and NFT holders will get to make decisions on what the stadium will look like. So again, even when it comes to building our stadium, you're going to get a say on it. I want to take this moment to just say, I don't know another project that is doing this much. It's it's insane to me. I'm going off the record here. Am I going into trouble with this? I probably will get into trouble for doing this, but it's insane to me that we haven't minted all of our NFTs. It's insane. It's insane. The, the, and, and I don't say that as a slight to other projects, but I look at some of these other projects that have blown up and they have not done... This is an exaggeration either, I don't think. They have not put, done maybe 5% in terms of what they've delivered on and what they've done for their community. So, again, you know, this is just another reminder of how seriously we, we take you and your, your feedback and your interaction. And, and, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to liaise with you on the Futera Dome, you know, and then we'll, we'll create this uh, two-part mini-series that kind of walks you through the making of the Dome. A great bit of content. We'll probably sit on the YouTube channel as well. Um, maybe shared natively on uh, on our socials. Then into quarter one, 2023, we have the... Um, well, this depends on when the sandbox opens fundamentally, but that's what we're aiming for. We'll, we'll open the Futera Dome in the metaverse. So we'll open that. And um, within this venue... This virtual venue, the Metaverse, will have uh, events, concerts, live games. It'll be somewhere where you can like hang out with the rest of the community, um, and you'll enter a, an exclusive theme lounge, a Futuri United theme lounge, where you'll meet other team, well, the teammates of uh, of, of Futuri United, you know, the squad, other people within the community. We may also offer the opportunity to purchase, you know, physical things within the Futera Dome. So. It's really, really exciting. And, you know, of course, your NFT will um, take the form of your avatar in the metaverse. There's so much cool stuff going on here. It really is crazy. And then, you know, just going back over the, the roadmap 1.0, we've got the jersey giveaway, which is the jerseys that your NFTs are wearing once we've reached a certain amount of sales. We've got the gold card giveaway. That's 50% sold. Um, we've got Kids for Kids. So that's a charity initiative. And... Um, 
Yeah, and then you know the 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 stuff in the hundred ETH traded. Welcome to Futera World, hosting the Metaverse at the Futera Dome. Futera World is where your player lives. So this is the kind of the gamification of your NFTs uh, once we reach that that target. Um, so there is there is so much within within our project. If you haven't joined Futera United yet, then I think you should. Um, it would be great to have you with us, and really just just keep on those of you that have already joined keep on with the enthusiasm it makes all the hard work worthwhile mark tricky trin uh, me gwen you know all the guys that are kind of leading this den on the football side we really do appreciate your input and as a community we value you and i and i hope that this is testament to that okay so um but if you haven't joined futeri united yet what on earth are you waiting for like what what more do you need to see from um a web3 project I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, you can buy this jersey as well if you like it. It's lovely, isn't it? It looks but 1.37 p.m. on the front. Just a beautiful jersey, black and gold. Thanks for joining me. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section underneath. Share this video, please. Share it on your socials. Let people know about Futeri United. Spread the word. Become an advocate. Okay? Become an advocate for Futeri United. I would, uh, I'll, I'll buy you a beer if I see you, or I'll buy you a digital beer in the metaverse. Let's Let's see what happens. All right, take it easy. Adam out. Up the Futeri United.